Who am I? My name is Tasneem. I'm an artist and my artist name is Neems. I'm a Palestinian American human being. Um, and I am a multifaceted creative that just does everything under the umbrella of art. Anything that inspires me, moves me, feels like it needs to be changed, you will find me there trying to do that. So that's who I am. That is my soul and spirit. Cinematic. Honestly, every time I say anything about my music, I hate starting with a genre. I just say cinematic, feelings, uh, very positive, influenced, and that's really about it. Cinematic is the first word that I usually use. I started in 2019 in terms of really recording, but I've been writing since I've been in fourth grade, so I guess that all ties into it, but realistically only three years in making this music happen. Since 2019, 2020 is when I actually started recording in the studio, dropped my first record, and then it became like, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm Palestinian. I was born in Boston. Um, lived in Jordan for five years and then moved back to the States. So I feel like those two worlds definitely subconsciously affected and influenced a lot of what I listen to, who I am, how I approach music, because it's all been subconsciously in my environment my entire life, whether I was in the States or in Jordan, in a you know Middle Eastern country. So being influenced has always been there, and I think it's inspired me a lot because I think when people approach my music, they're always like, there's something, the sound is different, or the way that you mix these chords are different. So I think it's because I'm subconsciously mending together these two worlds, but it definitely ins it influences my everyday all the time. Really, honestly, my family is my biggest motivation just because I come from nothing. Like, I don't come from uh, generational wealth. I don't come from, you know, opportunities and things, but I do come from a lot of culture and love. And I, I use that as my foundation to really push through all these barriers and to be able to like really change things that I see happening for years and decades just by being myself and opening these doors that will change a lot of things by nature of me being me and representing a lot of who I am in my everyday and I feel like that's my biggest motivation is that if I stop then who's going to do it and if I keep going what am I going to really lose besides gain all these beautiful challenges and successes and accomplishments and being able to really push through something different that hasn't existed before. So every day I remind myself, if it's not me, then who? So we're doing that. <laughs> my mom, my mom and my dad and myself. My mom, I would say just because as a woman who raised five kids, um, moved a lot throughout her life, doesn't really come from a place where, you know, you just have to kind of learn on the fly. She came from a big family, so it's like the siblings raise the siblings. That's like the type of family she came from. And you just kind of do and go, but it inspired me. She inspires me a lot because of the way she moves throughout her life. Like she, everything she gives, she'll do it 110%. That's just the way she is. And that obviously influenced me of how I approach my art, my work, my hustle, everything, like everything she says to do, she says, always give it your 110%, even if it's wiping the table. Like even if it's literally putting your bed together and it's your bed, like 110% effort all the time, because that's how you, you know, you show up for yourself. And I think my mom drilled that in myself and my confidence and being in my own skin, not being, trying to like, you know, live these lives that maybe other people are living and Carrying that influence from childhood definitely affected the way that I carry myself, and I think she's been my biggest inspiration, and my family has, so definitely. There's a lot, but <laughs> what do I want you guys to know is a really good question. Um, I love to draw and paint. That's something that I think maybe not a lot of people know. Um, I love being in nature away from technology most of the time. That's something I guess people who are closest to me know because I'm always like, I need, I need fresh air, I need to be outside. But um, those are the two things. So anything that's like present-based activities, um, really admiring you know, God's gift 
is really something that I enjoy doing. So if you're ever in a place where there is plants or forests, invite me. Like I'm, I'm there. I'm at the garden, <laughs> and we're painting outside. <laughs> Yeah, literally Bob Ross. <laughs> Where you at, bro? <laughs> Did he pass away? I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God bless. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I mean, I figured that was the case. <laughs> Doing what I love, financially free, family financially free, opportunities open for a lot of people giving back in some way um, I definitely want to be involved in education in whatever it is with kids um, activities like especially with creativity and making it your life um, because I feel like I want to be able to inspire people to do things that they love and that's the way of you living but it's also giving back positive it's not like doing what you love just because you love it I mean it has to be beneficial for you so I would definitely, in 10 years, I definitely see myself doing things that I'm doing now, but on a bigger level and more community involvement and just really changing the world one step at a time. Like it starts one step at a time and with a lot of great people around you. So I just hope that it keeps expanding and I keep doing greater things that really influence positively for everybody else, not just me. Because I've been so caught up in my own world and trying to decipher my own world and who I am and where I come from, I think people in my life inspire, inspire me and influence me the most. And that comes from family, people I work with, like just everyone who's really taking a chance on me because they've done things in certain ways. And people who believe in me, which are my closest people like family, they're the ones who are constantly knowing me the most. So the people that are pushing you and doing things in different realms, but maybe are maybe two years, three years ahead of your time. Those are the types of people that have been influencing me on a day to day just because it allows me to remind myself, what am I doing this for and who am I doing it for and how I can get it done. Um, but I wouldn't say anything like in terms of music or just yet, just because that's the headspace I'm in. Musically, I, I think Dean Blunt, if you're watching this, Dean Blunt, you have definitely been speaking to me in different ways, um, even though I don't translate it fully to my music all the time, but he's definitely been somebody that I want to meet in terms of pick his brain because what he says has been really relating to who I am right now and just some things that I've been going through, but he's the type to just share and disappear. So that's the only person that I'll say, Dean Blunt. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> I choose myself, I would say. I choose myself as my recent record, and I think it's the most that I've told about my journey. Like when I say everything ordained, when I graduated, I chose to part my ways, took a risk on life, I've been trying to pave the way. Palestinian, yet yeah, in my DNA. Independent, can't listen what they say. Like all of that, I'm really telling you from the come up, like what it is. And at the end of the day, I choose everything, all the challenges that I've been in all the things that I had to go through, everything that makes my life what it is, I choose all of it. Like, it doesn't matter if it's bad or good, it's all part of this journey. And I think this is my record where I fully like express that. And I just say that I would rather continue to like look at positive ways to enhance my life versus looking at ways of where to nitpick at it and call out the negativity, the, the, the vices, the things that just make your life maybe not so great. But at the same time, what's the point of that? Because the whole point is to move forward. And I feel like that song just really reminded me of that. And it also elevated my focus. It also spoke about my journey. So that's definitely a song that I would say represents me the most right now. And I say Palestinian, that's like 80% of me. That's 90%, that's my DNA. That's like literally who I am. So it's definitely that song for sure. 60 seconds around five questions. You ready? Uh, okay, yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> What time do you wake up? 11. Tell us a secret. Sometimes I'll eat candy and go to bed. <laughs> Starbucks or Dunkin? <laughs> Starbucks because Dunkin low key, it's a hit, hit or miss. And even though Starbucks I would say is overcharging me by an arm, it gets me right. <laughs> What's the most toxic zodiac sign? Low key, I don't know. Maybe like Scorpio. <laughs> Do you get nervous? Um, yeah, but like I don't think it ever shows. 
What's your happy place? Food. Anywhere where there's good food and sun. What animal would you be? A cat. <laughs> How do you answer your phone? Hello? <laughs> Dream vacation. Visit Palestine. That's really where I want to go, for sure. What was your last Google search? Probably looking for pizza. <laughs> like, literally. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is Soul. You know the animated movie, The Soul? Watch it like nine times. It puts you back into like living life. You need to live life. And that's what we're here to do. Not finding all these like systematic whatever. It's like, no, you just need to live life and be a great human being and admire and be present so you can really flourish and do whatever you want to do. But don't like miss on the good things. That's why I'd be like, you cut up in these trials. I'm digging a little deeper. I'm running up these miles. Like I'm going into the depth of what it really means to appreciate life. Anyway, side check, but Soul is a great movie. It's not sad, it's great. <laughs> it reminds you, put your soul back in your body. <laughs> That's why you have to go to the woods, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just reset, take nature back in. Describe yourself in one word. Ambitious. I'm very ambitious and passionate. And I could keep going, but ambitious for sure, because I can't stop. When, I, when I'm excited to speak about something, you can tell I'm energetic. And I feel like Ambitious describes that in every format. There's merch on the way, guys. I have a Neem Season merch coming through. Neem Season, every single day, because we rep ourselves every single day. I choose myself, era, meaning you gotta do you so you can do others best. You gotta give yourself the most so you can give others your best. You can't focus on anything else. It's I choose myself, era. Take care of yourself, take care of your health. Everything that's going to make you better in the future, do it now. And that's where we're at. Make sure you tap in. Big, big new season. <laughs> tap in with me, you know what I'm saying?